بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور اوریکل ایپیکس 24.2 نیو فیچرز اینڈ آور فرسٹ ٹاپک از ڈیٹا بیس آبجیکٹ ڈیپینڈنسیز ڈیٹا بیس آبجیکٹ ڈیپینڈنسیز انٹروڈیوس ان 24.2 اینڈ وٹ ایگزیکٹلی دا پرپز آف دس نیو فیچر از آئی ول بی ایکسپلیننگ ٹوڈے وی ول ہیو اے ڈیمو ایز ویل Uh, to practically see in the application how it works what are the benefits so basically uh, when you have an application and you are deploying to another instance you need to create database objects right tables packages etc but maybe due to scripts unavailability or the resource who developed uh, is not available so you have created certain objects but maybe still someone or something is missing so how you will know that one that which object where it was used uh, what is the context of that object it is of the current schema it is accessed for from the sys or and and you know uh, public objects as well so for that we will be using this feature database object dependencies to see and resolve those dependencies so i think uh, better to proceed towards the demo in order to see practically where we can access this feature how we can use it and the way forward okay let's move so here is this screen and this is apex.oracle.com and it is the on the latest version 24.2.0 right so <clears throat> if you see here I just ran for one application just to see the errors. There are 424 errors and this is the default screen but you can enable from here more columns as well. Like so let me enable those as well so see some more details. All right now this I think left pane is fixed i can't reduce or move towards left so anyway let's stick to this uh, <clears throat> so this is our first if you see here pay on page 0 uh, sql query this is the sql query and this is the error right because this table might be dropped or something like that see this is the query attachments this is the component region page id 0 property is sql query and property group is source so now let us click this link and it moved us to the page where there was an error right this is a classic report and this is the sql right so now we have to fix this issue since we have this table so we need to find the table and all those things details right let's say this table is not there in this instance so that's why it is giving an error okay now let us move back and we'll see some other as well so this was region region if you see here and if there is an anything on the item list of value so this is a list of value so there can be validations as well let me item process right this is a validation so if you will click this let's see where it will take us right so there's an validation right okay now, now let me take you so first uh, let me clear this whatever is generated for the current application right so <clears throat> let me go back from scratch so this is i have selected one application right this is on apex.oracle.com and then on the top we have this uh, tab utilities and the utilities this is the object dependencies click and it will be doing tables views and columns packages procedures functions system dependencies right this is what i was saying system says public and apex schema owners identifies reference to other objects that result in errors right so since i was showing you errors and in the earlier screen so it was just capturing this one but it will also show whatever these objects are used in our application 
or it is it is having these uh, references for these okay so let's scan this application this is so here we have the option scan type full only errors are full scan this time i'm going to have full scan earlier it was errors only and scope is application or page if i will select page then i can even select a specific page so let us go with application you can check for the single page as well <clears throat> right so it will take uh, probably a few seconds at least it is taking on apex.oracle.com and then once finished we'll get the report let us see okay let us see okay list of values scanning and now once finished we'll just wait for the finishing okay i think around 80 percent completed this place should be 90 percent uh this place yeah okay okay uh sometimes these features maybe uh looks like okay i don't need it or these are very basic things and things like that but when you need it and you use such features you will get the real benefit because it will save your time it will save your energy and uh, you will be able to accomplish uh, a lot in less time otherwise sometimes it is very difficult let's say for example you have 100 plus pages so how you will search it will be very uh, tough and you have deployed application and now you are not i mean client will face issues so again it's a bad image as well so better to check if anything is missing there's any error still get it resolved so you will have zero error application deployed and you are office i mean company or on your client side okay so finishing the wait is over wow so if you see on the left side we have these uh, tree as well where this is for errors then we have views right system dependencies okay let me do like this one these are packages system dependencies okay these are packages of its own and these are the views okay let me click views what it will show right and it will show you uh, let me enable more columns as well see we have a lot of columns but it will not be helpful at the moment for this video at least so you can enable features so this is the query and that's it right you can find from here but errors are here where we have an already enabled extra, extra columns packages right okay now let us go to this and just experiment so we will this time only okay so if one is there already scanning is there so you have to clear in order to do it again right let me come from here just to understand this functionality right okay so we can't generate so before generating another scan we need to clear dependencies and utilities uh oh sorry scan regions Scanning layers. 
finishing that's it okay okay now we have tables right and we have packages we have schema we have system dependencies as well right so these will be available in our pack, so you don't need to worry but for packages you need to check okay the, all these packages are transported i would say to the client amp that's it and there are 14 errors by the way see here whatever i mean syntax errors or objects not found whatsoever so you can resolve very easily after having these features in 24.2 it is strange that in 20, uh, 2025 oracle released 24.2 ideally it should have been last year but okay since it is available because at least in this year i was expecting 25.1 so maybe soon it will be released as well right thank you very much and allah hafiz